uh, yeah, I think Toledo showed why they're number one in the league right now. Um, they're poised, they're composed, they're experienced. They have a lot of weapons. Um, so it was a tough night for us. I wish we would have came out better in the first half. Uh, but the second half was a little bit better. Um, but you had to you had to bring your A game against a, a team like that. Is that something you can almost just show your team like that's what it's supposed to look like? Uh, yeah, I don't know if it works. I don't know if that works. You know, I think it's um, I think it used to, <laughs> you know, um, but I know our team, we're too prideful. We want to know when is Miami getting there, you know, and it's they can look around the league. Toledo, they've they watch more film just about as much as film as we do as coaches. So our kids are watching it. They're in tune with what's going on. And um, I hope one day that we get it and understand that that's what a collective team looks like. Uh, in your starting lineup, you dropped Katie Richardson <clears throat> to give Teja Foster Walker her first start since November. Can you talk more about this change? Yeah, yeah. I just thought it was a better matchup um, for Toledo. I think moving forward, um, our staff has talked a lot about from the starts. Our starts haven't been great of how we can match up better with the opponent. Um, so Teja did that. She did the best job on Jess Cook the first time we played them. Felt like that was a better matchup there. Um, and, you know, Tage is a, a paint protector. She can block some shots. She rebounds well for us. Um, so she can offer that. Coach, with Peyton on the floor today, you were only minus four mm -hmm. um, for the game. But is there anything that the team can do besides play without her on the court to learn what it's like <laughs> without her on the court? Yeah, I think um, with time. That's all I keep saying. It's just it's with time. Um, Peyton does a lot. You know, she – not just even offensively, she covers up a lot, and even defensively. And um, our younger kids are learning. The more they learn, the better they'll get. The more, the better feel we'll get. There was a time where our younger kids, without paint on the court, did do well. You know, so I think today was just one of those days where uh, we needed her out there. But for the most part, they've held their own. So, uh, should we be concerned about Eden Battle, the uh, third, uh, the third on you know the uh, yeah. points? Uh, average points per game for the team this season. Uh, she came up in the first, uh, in the third quarter. So should we be concerned? Uh, I don't know the update yet. I'll be honest with you, but I know Eden is a tough kid. <laughs> if if Eden can play, she's gonna play. Um, so I don't know what the report's gonna be, but I can almost guarantee she's she's gonna be back at some point.